Okay, what an intro. Hello everyone, welcome to a new game. This is Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, I got this game for free uh, on the Epic Game Store. Not uh, exactly sure when. Um, but I just decided that it was time to give this a go. Oh my goodness. Uh, the left most is barely visible. I need a little bit more bright. Okay, hold on. I, I would say like this, and the edges of my screen, okay, this is actually perfect. All right, let's go. Um, wait, campaign, one island, one goal, lots of dinosaurs. Beat the clock, nah, <laughs> please don't. Oh, what? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is this? Um, hold on. All right, so I checked the settings. Uh, only thing I really changed was to disable the copyright music and also enable subtitles. All right, uh, my goal with this game is just focus on campaign. Although if I really, really, really enjoy it and I'm just, you know, hungry for more, then I'll do the, the challenge uh, mode. Ooh, wait. All right, so these are the LC, is that it? What is it? Oh, okay, so this is main game and these two are DLC. All right, I get it. Hello, and may I say welcome? My name Hello. is... Hello, may I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And, uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. Okay. Ah oh, shit! What? We've already started oh, on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. So my reaction was the camera movements. Oh, I wish I could control, you know, with the cursor. Well, ah, uh, okay. I I can't control it with the cursor only because I'm I'm doing uh, two monitors. So, uh, all right. Uh, okay, recording and stuff should be all right. What did construct the Hammond creation? Okay, so this is it. Oh, you want me here? Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. That's fine. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Okay. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. What? Oh. What do you want, this guy? This was the guy, right? Crap. Machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. 
You know we've learned so much, and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time, and a next. precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So well done. I guess. Well, for something that just hatched, doesn't look like a baby at all. Well, at least they have a big area. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Wait. Let's go with science. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. All right. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Expedition Center. Okay, so this is it. Can we go here? So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with Bees. a division, Got you're it. more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. How do I see, like... People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract, and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning, you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, God. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Our kills? What do you mean? The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Okay. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. I'm so lost already. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. <laughs> Is this... what is this? 
Oh, I need to complete the Pokedex. Expedition Center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Well... It's Portugal! Oh, I'm Portuguese! Oh! I get really emotional whenever Portugal is featured in a game. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's go here. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Okay. Your job is simple, really. Oh. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Gotcha. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Oh. Well, I can't really extract anything. do this. Alright. Oh no! What the heck? Like, how do I see that I need energy? Oh. Okay. Oh, people arrive here. Okay. Where the Christ? Can I incubate another? Oh. Like, how do I know that the? Oh my God! I I keep calling these things Pokemon, but they're dinosaurs. What's wrong with me? Like, do they get? The, the these two get along or what? You know? There, you're doing it, right? Okay. What you doing? You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. What? You want me to extract? Oh. the film or what? 
like movies. I think I think well, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't rewatched any of the Jurassic Park movies in <sighs> at least a decade. At least. Um, what? This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. No. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. No. No. Fuck off. What? But what is this? Huh? Okay. Asset containment. Let's do this. Like, I don't want to use dinosaurs for, for warfare, are you kidding? Makes no sense, genetic. What? What? Um. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Hello. Power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, it. we don't have any power. Well, I think I got it anyways. Wait, what? So... the goddamn visitors. Oh, I'm sorry. Astruthiomimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Why does randomly is Portuguese here? <laughs> All right. Oh my god, are they going to be friends? No. <laughs> what? Oh, fuck the database. I don't care. So, you are researching. Yay! Yeah. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. 
Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. All right. Nice. So I want to see that. Oh goodness, me and the camera. Hmm. Are you the research? idea what I'm doing. Partially depleted. This is wonderful. Right, you can go there, please. accurate because holy shit this man is huge our new specimens sorry dinosaurs are meeting expectations but we want them to thrive that's your next assignment making sure our specimens are properly cared for in other words dinosaur welfare all right the difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. They have nothing to thank us for, though. We're using them for business, right? A small herbivore. Oh. What? I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Okay, you sound like, uh, what's it called? Uh, a villain. Opportunity is knocking. Answer. What? Guest shelters. But don't I have that? eating okay an operational ranger
problem is the is the energy. No money now. What? What? No cable. What? What? I don't understand this guy. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. God damn it. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, God. Are you... See the peeps. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do we have anything? All right. Oh my goodness. Do I want an expedition? Are 
the Like th the problem is like this thing uh, costs money, so I'm gonna keep it as it is. Um. This contract looks important, unworthy of consideration. Shelter coverage. It's in Portuguese. The woman. This costs money, so. gonna sell. I need cash. Uh, so we spent 60k and what we got was a little bit over that. I think that might be my... the shelter ladies and gentlemen we apologize for any inconvenience experienced during our recent handling of anonymous events So this is 90. This is 60.
I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't okay. answer. It's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. The thing is, like, if it's rate 8, what is a rate 8? Where do we have the buddy? Oh, it's sleeping. Seven. What? Let's sell. Like I need, I, I need money right now. that um I don't know what that means sell them somehow. Oh, wow. Let's throw the... Try. Rating is ten. It doesn't... Oh, it's here, rating. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's incubate. So, this one should be alright then, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Wait, do we have enough power to increase stuff? Wait. Are you... no. Right, let's not do that then. releasing 
It's because the thing is in front. Hey! Idiot. Yo! Yes! Cash reward. Yeah, it's complete, so... You knocked that dinosaur contract out of the park. Now let's hope it brings lots of guests to it. Know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. No. Come on and help the winning team. I don't Bye. want that. <laughs> like, I don't have cash, buddy. Well, that didn't help me at all. At all, man. No, dude. No. That is pretty dope. Can I... Oh. Oh, I see. But can I get a contract? Protecting our guests is, of course, our first priority. But okay. our second priority is continuing to improve our security profile. And this new contract could help us do that. So it's important that you consider it. Where's the... the rangers? even going the right direction guys stop like it just keeps on going I go eat. Morning. Ranger vehicle under attack. Shut up. <laughs> Does this count? Yeah. Done it any better. Thanks. 
Welcome! Yes. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then. No. Let me know if you're interested. Like, how do I increase this? Do I just op do I just do a new thing? I just heard of a new contract that I think will be beneficial for the science division. No. Ah, bitch. Um. So people just can't see, is that it? I'm just losing cash constantly. I need like to accept something real quick. Um I know you've handled work like this in the past, so this contract should be right up your alley. Okay. Oh. This is like one fifty. I don't have money for that. because I don't know how to play these sort of games. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't really know what to say in terms of, like, a review. Um... Right, so, I really like the... Uh, I really like the graphics, I really like the the possibility to just get rid of licensed music, that helps me a lot, uh, because I enjoy uh, recording and uh, editing uh, my, my playthroughs. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't even get through uh, the very first campaign, and to be honest, 
I don't know what I could have done um, in order to improve. Like, I'm not doing anything and my finances just keep going down. I forgot to check that. Yeah, here it is. Um, I can't do anything. Uh, or I don't know um, how to fix the situation right here. Uh, I feel that I would have to start over and at the same time I feel that I would just end up being in the same situation I just don't get it uh, I don't know if I just kept moving too soon you know like from going from objective to objective instead of like okay I'm gonna do an objective then when I have an extra uh, extra income then I'm gonna do another objective I don't know if that's where I failed maybe um, yeah I think this game can be great for those people that are into, I don't know, the tycoon uh, type of type of games or, well, basically uh, roller coaster or amusement parks management, um, that sort of thing. Um, I used to play those when I was uh, a lot younger, but I played them always in uh, sandbox mode. Um, but in this day and age, I no longer feel attracted to sandbox mode like I just I just want objectives and you know like more uh, goal oriented stuff but unfortunately I just I just can't progress like I keep losing money I don't know how to fix this I I can't continue this save again I would have to restart the save and I honestly feel that I haven't learned where I went wrong uh, and, uh, yeah, I think this is a good game. I just didn't get it. I didn't understand it. Um, I, I don't think I am the target audience. Uh, still, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.